What is going on guys, it is me Capo back with more news. The Chinese test server introduced us 4 new weapons that will appear in upcoming seasons and most likely 2 will appear in the next season. So let's look at these weapons one by one. The first weapon we have is the D13 Sector. The D13 Sector is a secondary special weapon that is in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now what is a special weapon? A special weapon is something special, the name says it all. So what is special about this weapon? This weapon shoots a disc, it is not bullets. It is not explosive and I will show you how it works. Now take a look at this final kill cam. The disc goes and hits the target but it doesn't hit directly. So what it does is the disc can travel for 5 seconds before exploding and the disc can bounce off any amount of surfaces until it explodes which means it's deadly and you don't have to be really really accurate to shoot with this weapon and it's a secondary launcher weapon and you know it is going to be a uh, something in Call of Duty Mobile because imagine getting killed by a disc that you were nowhere near the disc when it hits the first surface comes to you after bouncing off few surfaces it is not something you want right i can't wait to see this in action inside of call of duty mobile so what do you guys think about this d13 sector coming to call of duty mobile leave a comment down below the next weapon we have is the dragono now yeah dragono sounds different in different pronunciations i will call it dragono now this is not a one kill one shot sniper and most likely nobody will use it in in multiplayer matches but it will be very popular in but royal matches as you can see this is a footage of a gameplay and it doesn't kill with one shot it rarely kills with the one shot so you have to fire a couple of bullets to take down an enemy it has a very high fire rate so you can actually do something this weapon this is not a bad weapon also dragono is a weapon that is in several games that go way back in time it's a pretty much a weapon that everyone knows and it works differently in different games but most likely it will be a semi-automatic sniper rifle in call of duty mobile dragono can totally appear in next season because we recently got a launcher and we recently got a smg so it's high time we will see another sniper rifle inside of the game moving on to the next weapon that is the pkm light machine gun i also made a video about this pkm light machine gun a few days back and you can go and check it out as well there you can see some comparisons between the pay to win blueprints of the pkm and the normal pkm light machine gun so what you see right now is a gameplay of the normal default pkm light machine gun and you can clearly see that it is a really good versatile weapon that is very good in medium to long ranges and it also comes with 100 and 150 round belts and this also most likely will appear in season 10 currently what i can say is that the dragono and the pkm light machine gun will appear in season 10 but that's not all we have another weapon that will appear in upcoming seasons that is the new smg that is coming to the game the p19 p19 is also a available in multiple call of duty games almost like every call of duty game this will be a weapon that is similar to the Kodite and the pp19 bison because it comes with a really large magazine and also it's very accurate now if we talk about the iron sight iron sight is different from game to game and i believe that it will appear like this in call of duty mobile mostly people use it with the red dot or a recovery scope in those games so those are the four weapons that are appearing in the chinese beta so these weapons will appear very soon in call of duty mobile so what is your favorite out of them leave a comment down below that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet watch my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one